There's the man. Good work, Henry. Thank you, sir. I tell you to take a well-earned rest, but unfortunately I need one more thing from you. Whatever you command. Jezek refuses to talk to us. The stubborn bastards asking to see you. Me? Indeed. Normally I'd send for Captain Bernard to beat it out of him, but then I told myself that if he's so keen to speak to you... I'll try to get something out of him. Where is he? He's locked up in the tower. Bernard will give you the key. Very well, sir. May I be of service, my lord? Yes, Henry. Chief Engineer Faithfar has been asking for someone reliable to assist him. The Chief Engineer? Is it about Scalets? In a manner of speaking. Master Faithfar has, well, there? evil forebodings. I think he may want to send you to the Scalets mines. Can they really be restored? Everything can be rebuilt with enough will and resources. Well, everything except a man. You'll get the details from Chief Engineer Faithfar. For the time being, consider yourself his handyman. Certainly. Where do I find him? Is he here in the castle? Where? Now that's a good question. He ought to be somewhere at Perkstein unless he's gone off to deal with some problem or other. Look around. You're bound to run into him. Well, thank you. I'll go and see him straight away. Good luck, Hal. Greetings. What do you need? Master Fayfar, Sir Radzik sent me to you. Did he? He must think highly of you. I do the best I can. That's good, because this is damned important. Silver's our most valuable asset. How can I help with these, um, evil forebodings of yours? Hm. Sir Radzik may make light of it, but a large quantity of silver has been discovered hereabouts. And no one is guarding the Scullet's mines, the most likely source. You really think someone could be stealing the silver from the mines? I would have thought that would be quite a job, wouldn't it? It certainly would. Which is why I'd like you to go and check out not only the mine gallery, but also the yard with the smelter and the waterworks. See what kind of state it's all in, and if anything looks suspicious. Is that the yard next to the Scallet's mill? That's the one. I don't know what state it's in now. There used to be a stock of charcoal and smelted silver there. A silver store? Could there really be any left? I doubt it. I'd be surprised if it was still standing at all. What about these waterworks? What's there? A stamping mill and washing troughs. They're on the bend in the river below the castle. You can't miss them. There are big tanks and equipment all around. You said mine gallery. Just one. Boy. There's such a maze there that it would take a week to crawl through the place. There's only one gallery I'm interested in, at the foot of the hill by a small fish pond. Why just that one? Because I was expecting to find a scene there. All the indications pointed to it. So if anyone is stealing silver, it'll be right there. Should I be expecting trouble then? Well, I definitely wouldn't treat the job like a visit to church on Sunday. You could find yourself facing that pack of hungry dogs trailing the army. Or a band of brigands. I see. Well, you and Sir Radzik can rely on me. That's all clear. I'll get going. Good luck, then. Good gracious, it's Henry, champion of the Rat-Eyed Tawny. Is there anything I can help you with, Sir Hans? Ah, Henry, the very man I wanted. There is something you can do for me. You see? I'm in love. Ah, there's a new wench at the bathhouse, is there? Watch it, Henry. This is the love of my life we're talking about, not some wench. The face of an angel, breasts like silk pillows to dream on, and good strong hips. A regular Helen of Troy. Troy? Isn't that near Prague? I don't know anyone from there. Never mind, Blockhead. What I'm saying is, she's a fine filly, and you can help me win her. Sounds like fun. I'm all ears. You, Hal, shall be my messenger of love. You shall bear her a letter and a gift from a secret admirer. But why me? It's not like you to be bashful, Sir Hans. You can just go and tell her, um... Certainly not. Carolina is different to the others. 
She was educated in a convent and needs to be handled with kid gloves. Romanced. I must court her secretly. It's the latest fashion in France. And who is this Carolina? The fairest maid that ever walked the earth. Carolina. The butcher's daughter. You must have noticed a divine creature in the marketplace. Unless you're more interested in barnyard animals. Carolina, I do know her. She's a pretty girl, all right, but, um, well, a little below your station. Love knows no station but the heart. And you keep your peasant eyes off her. Your task is simple. All you have to do is get hold of a necklace fine enough to grace her lovely neck. I did have one that I inherited from my great-grandmother. Unfortunately, not anymore. What happened to it? I lost it playing dice at the inn. But you'll get it back for me. You're a smart lad. I'm sure you'll figure out a way. And I'll reward you handsomely. Oh, all right then. Is there something else I should know about this necklace? I lost it at dice in the Ledechko Tavern when I was there to see... Well, that's not important. So, some dice player from Ledechko won your grandmother's valuable necklace. Haven't you learned anything from losing to Zdena, the bathhouse wench? My great-grandmother's. And, as it happens, I have learned a trick or two. But that fellow has the luck of the devil. No doubt he'll still be sitting there, swindling other folk out of their hard-earned groschen. Oh, uh, what's the use? All right, all right. I'll go to Ledetsko, find this diabolical dice player and see what I can do. Though I'll probably lose my shirt to him. Well, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Good luck, then. Damn. Yeah. I need the key to Yezhek's cell. Hmm. So, Sir Radzik let him have his way in the end. He should have let me beat some answers out of him. If I were you, I wouldn't question Sir Radzik's orders. Give me the key. Just try not to mess it up. Here's that key. Thanks. Any chance of some work here, Captain? It all depends on what you're ready to do, my lion. As I'm sure you've noticed the roads around here are swarming with brigands. Sir Hanush has declared quite a reward for dealing with them. So what do you think I should do about them? We know about one of their encampments. It's to the east of Ratai in an abandoned mine. I don't really mind how you deal with them. Anyway, the leaders generally wear spurs, maybe like they're pretending they're nobility. Who cares? In any case, bring me the spurs, and I'll take it as proof that the deed's done. Very well. I'll see to it. Wait. In addition, Sir Hanush has offered a reward for every bandit who's killed. So take a good sharp dagger. You'll get a bit extra for each ear you bring. Isn't that a bit barbaric? Barbaric ways for barbaric times, my boy. That does make sense, I must admit. Bye-bye. Well, finally, I've had quite a wait. Why do you want to talk to me, of all people? Radzik will keep me alive only as long as it takes to get everything I know out of me. You, on the other hand, gave me certain assurances. So I want to be sure that the secrets my life depends on end up in good hands. I didn't promise you anything, but I'll see what I can do. Very well, ask me anything you want. I won't be obstructive. What I want to know most of all is who's behind it. Who were you making those forgeries for? Do you think I couldn't have handled it all myself? I'm not trying to insult you. It's just not a job one man could do alone. All right. The way it began was I was short of coin, as usual. So I let those crimps in Sasau recruit me. Recruit you into what? I didn't inquire too much. In this business, you don't ask too many questions. But when they found out I wasn't just anybody, they put me in charge of the counterfeiting. A foreigner by the name of Eric gave me instructions. But for sure, he isn't the chief. And there's someone highly placed at the monastery who's mixed up in it, too. But I don't know who. How did you come to hear of all this business? 
I met some old friends in Colleen a few months ago, and they said they were heading for Sasau, that armed men were being recruited, and they'll hire anyone. Old friends? Who were they? Just a couple of brigands. We used to ambush the Margrave's messengers in Moravia together. Nice friends you keep. I was in dispute with the Margrave. A man in my position finds himself mixed up with all sorts. And then what? Rapota and I had been living off stale crusts for a month, so I wasn't going to turn down the chance of work, honest or otherwise. We rode to Sasau and met with the recruiters. It didn't take long to realize I was a nobleman fallen on hard times, not some common peasant. Can you get to the point? Well, they introduced me to this Eric, and he told me what was needed. They set up the workshop, got the men, the supplies, everything. Crimps. You're telling me this Eric is recruiting armed men in Sasau? Well, it seems so. I was giving the recruiters some of the coins to do it. The fake ones, of course. Where can I find the recruiting gang? That's tricky. It was my friends who led me to them. We met with them in the woods next to Sasau. It's about who you know, as always. You said you gave them money. Where was that? They'd ride to the mine gallery to see me. I don't suppose you'd find them there now. Hmm. If you say so. This Eric? You reckon he's not the one in charge? He puts on airs, but he's just a naive young pup. And he's always going on about his lord, though he never mentioned him by name. Where can I find this Eric? You must have had some meeting place. He used to come to the workshop unannounced. And after what's happened, I doubt he'll be showing his face there again. This highly placed person at the monastery, what can you tell me about him? I've no idea who he is, only that he's no small fry. After all, he handles the exchange of the forgeries in Passau. Hmm, I see. Is there anything else at all you can tell me about him? No, he was supposed to supply me with materials too, but he backed out. Eric said he probably got cold feet. That'll do me for the moment. Will you put in a word for me with Sir Radzig? I'll swear allegiance to him if he'll have me. I'm sick of being a renegade. I can try, but I can't promise you anything. So what have you learned? All sorts of things. There's some foreigner called Eric behind the counterfeiting ring, and someone highly placed at the monastery. The monastery? Really? That's what Yezhek claimed. So it's worse than I thought. If this is true, we'll have to proceed with the utmost caution. Why? Can't we just go to the monastery to investigate? No. If the church is truly involved, I have no authority. But if someone at the monastery is perpetrating crimes against the crown... True enough. Why don't I go and arrest King Sigismund of Luxembourg while I'm about it? He's committed a crime or two as well. I'll have to think about it. It won't be an easy nut to crack. I'll have to consult with Hanush. And what of this Eric? Who is he? I don't know, but he's recruiting armed men in Sasau and forming an army. Damn! So it looks like Pribislavitz wasn't the end of it. It most certainly wasn't, sir. And what's more, Sir Yezhek is convinced this Eric is only a go-between, and there's someone bigger behind him. You should return to Sasau and take a closer look at those recruiters. If they're going to attack, we must find out sooner than last time. It might not be as straightforward as that. Sir Yezhek didn't know them and has no idea how to find them. You'll have to manage somehow, my lad. Don't tell me there's an armed force amassing here and nobody knows anything. Go to Sasso and try to find them. I... I'm not sure where to start, sir. Then ask around the alehouses and inns, or at the Rad House. Someone must have heard something. These things can't be entirely kept in the dark. Whatever you do, be careful, Henry. And best not mention my name. It would attract unwelcome attention. What we want is for the crimps to take you for just another village lad they can lure into their gang. All right, sir. I'll try to blend in as best I can. I know I'm asking a lot of you, but I know of no one else who could help as much as you can now. Sir, there's one more thing. Sir Yezhek went with me without resistance because I promised him he could come to an agreement with you. My boy, my boy. You make promises in my name. That could turn out very badly for both of us. But, if it can prevent bloodshed, why the hell not? 
We may well come to some arrangement after all, but I can't say yet what will become of him. You'd better run along. As you command, sir. Let me guess. It's about that ring? Yeah. You gave it to Fletch, right? Uh, yeah. That's a shame. I had my eye on it. Any idea where he put it? He definitely ain't got it on him. Sorry, not a clue. Look here. If you could get it back from him and bring it to me, I'll give you something for your trouble. Sounds fair enough. I want that ring. I believe you still have it? Ha! <laughs> First he brings me the ring, then he wants it back. Well, those are the rules of the game, right? True enough. Only I did the sensible thing and hid it carefully. It's not so much about the free booze. I'm just a competitive bastard by nature. But just to make things interesting, here's a wee clue for you. Find the dead standing among the living and turn your eyes heavenward. I've got the ring. <laughs> Kuno won't know what hit him. I'll drink the alehouse dry just to get my money's worth. Here, have a drink yourself on me. Thanks. Enjoy. I see everyone made it back in one piece. Thank Christ. Someone up there must like us. Somehow we always manage to get out of these sticky situations. Well, oh, someone up there, or someone down there. Shit, yeah, right. Well, the main thing is we made it. So we'll go patrolling again? We will, but not you. What? Why not? I found out where Jakey is. I want you to grab him, beat everything he knows about Hagen out of him. Well, that sounds like a good plan. But why me? For one thing, you're reliable. And for another... You're not likely to wring his neck on sight, which can't be said for the rest of us. But where is he hiding? He isn't, the little shit. He's drinking away his 30 pieces of silver in some alehouse, bold as brass. The inn on the meadow, or something like that. The inn in the glade? Yeah, that's the one. What are you going to be doing in the meanwhile? We'll go on patrol as normal. It could be a trick, you see to lure us into a trap. But what if they're waiting to spring a trap on me? It could well be, Henry. So you should be very careful. But one thing's for sure, Jakey won't be there forever. And someone's got to go and check it out. I'll get going then. Go. And when you find him, deal with him however you see fit. Just make sure you find out what he knows first. Right, Chief. God be with you, good sir. Are you the one who played dice with Lord Capon? Played and won, lad. A fine noble he may be, but he can no more throw dice than I can read Latin. I can't disagree with you there. But look here, have you still got that piece of jewellery you won from him? No, I don't. Some noble rode through here and we had a game or two. Only them dice kept falling his way. I was lucky to keep my boots. He's got the necklace now. Do you know where this fellow was heading? He was waiting for someone here, but when they didn't show up by midday, he rode on. He mentioned something about camping by the bridge over the Sasau River, that one before the charcoal burners camp. 
You might still catch him there with a bit of luck. There aren't many fords along the river on the way to Sasau. Can you tell me anything else about him? Fine gent he was. Well dressed. On horseback. Had quite a lot to say. Seems he saw a bit of the world. And he had some interest in looking dice. You said they fell well for him? Aye, no wonder. Fine dice they was. Made special. All shiny and whatnot. That's all I need to know. How's it going? Good money, eh? What? What money? Oh, uh, uh, look, yeah, go and talk to Matthew first. Well, all right. About your brawl with Elias. How the fuck do you know about him? Your best friend settled the matter. We... We won't forget this. Oh, on my honour. Thanks. be with you. I'm looking for a young fellow by the name of Jake. What about him? Oh, I heard he was seen here. Maybe, but he ain't here now. And can you tell me where he might be? No, I can't. He's a guest. And if I went mouthing off to anyone who came by about who was here and what they were doing, it wouldn't do my reputation much good. Come now, Andrew. Isn't there something that might persuade you? It depends how much something we're talking about. All right, I'll tell you. Well, I was going to throw him out on his ear at first. He strolls in here like some lord, ordering people around. He's nothing but a snot-nosed brat. But then, he showed me the way of his person. Well, business is business. He stayed here a couple of days. Yesterday evening he was boozing here, and then went off to the woods with some wench. To the woods? That's a very broad term in these parts. Someone said they saw them heading south across the meadow. There's pine woods there and cliffs, and that's where they went. The girl's father was here with her, a merchant. As soon as he noticed she was gone, he went off to look for her. You might meet him. All right. Thanks. How's trade? Any trouble around these parts? Around here? It's those two idiots bother me the most. Don't you know them? I reckon you do. And apart from that, the ones who've got it worst are them at the Neuhof stud farm. Getting things up and running again without old Smill would be a job and a half. His widow Zora's a fine woman, tough as they come. But, well, she's a woman still. Here's your share. My share of what? What the hell are you on about? Well, that thing with Thomas, uh, somehow his ring ended up with us. My pleasure. Thomas? Who's he? That bastard of a foreman at the mill in Adechko. 
Well, you got us a job. Are you out of your tiny mind? If anyone finds out you robbed him, we'll all be fucked. Take it easy. It wasn't theft exactly. We all know he stole that ring himself. So if it comes out, he'll be in the shit too. He'll keep his mouth shut. Where'd you find someone willing to buy and not ask too many questions? It wasn't easy. But then Fritz thought of Andrew. Andrew? The innkeeper. They say all sorts of things about him. And how did it go with him? Well, first he didn't seem too keen. But when he saw the ring, he bought it off us. Actually, I'm not surprised. After all, we'll spend all the money on booze here anyway. What now? What will you do next? Now that you mention it... Yeah. Out with it then. What have you thought up now? I can't help myself. It's force of habit. We tried to be good at Sassau. So good that you punched a novice in the mouth. Exactly. We broke our backs working in the mill. While you eyed up the miller's daughter. And they drove us out. The only worthwhile thing we did recently was give that wasteful a flashing, take his ring, and sell it to Andrew. I'm not sure I like where you're going with this. And where's that? No one in the country gives a damn about the law. And if we knock some thief over the head in the woods, or ambush some wagon with supplies for Sigismund's soldiers, I won't lose any sleep over it. Those swine deserve even worse. But that's what Sohanish is here for, isn't he? What can we do? Wake up, for Christ's sake! It's war! They skewered your parents, didn't they? They fucking burned down our fucking village, didn't they? Don't you give a damn about that? Of course I fucking do. And now, there's a herd of swine ransacking skeletons. Those fuckers are trampling over the ashes of Jeremiah, and Desmond, and Siegfried, and Tristan. It's not right. I can't let it go, Hal. Even if I have to do it on my own, I'll put the fear of God into those bastards. You won't be alone. I knew we could rely on you, Hal. I knew it. So, what's the plan? Well, I thought Andrew the innkeeper here could help us, but he's nervous. Best ask Fritz. He sorted out selling the ring, and he knows Andrew better. All right, I'll do that. Hey, how'd you get so fucked up? I hear you've got a plan to fleece the local villains. Be nice, wouldn't it? Otherwise we soon won't have a pot to piss in. And the innkeeper here could lend a helping hand? Exactly. So what's the problem? Eh, uh, he reckons we're not up to it. Y you should try and talk him into it. You were always good at that. Oh, and tell him I sent you, so he doesn't send you packing. Do you know how I might set about convincing Andrew? Mention money. That's all? Aye. Oh, friend, the innkeeper is as greedy as they come. See you later. Fritz sent me. I'd like to talk about... Ah, would like some wine from my cellar? I have it right here, in the back. That's right. Show me the way. Farewell. So, Fritz sent you, did he? Aye. This was his idea. Look, lad, I'm fond of Fritz. I knew his old man, but Matthew, he's insane. Robbing people. Only those that deserve it. And you think his lordship won't mind? Have you any idea the kind of shit you can get into? I don't believe you're up to it. Why don't you believe us? Plenty of coin in it, and almost no risk for you. So, there'd be a share in it for me, eh? A handsome one. We'll see if you're up to it. 
You'll need a disguise. What disguise? Use your head. You can never be sure no one will see you. Yeah, that's true. We'll have to put on some other clothes or... Dress up as humans. What? It's obvious, isn't it? Everyone knows they're looting. If someone's robbed by humans, no one will investigate. Hmm, that's true. But I'll have to get some human clothes. A captain's. And three sets of them. What? On account of the helmets. No one will recognize you with them on. And where the hell am I supposed to get it? There's gangs of humans around skeletons. I've got a good idea where to find them from. Uh, Passers by. I'm supposed to attack a human camp. A minute ago, you were full of yourself. And now, all of a sudden, you've lost your nerve. But the whole fucking camp? The scouts are deserters. Most likely the ones who are trying to skive off or take easy pickings. And even humans have to sleep. God watch over you, good night. Especially in these dark times. Can I do something for you? You waiting for someone? Not anymore, young man. I was waiting for you. You look like a clever sort of fellow, and chivalrous too. You wouldn't leave a damsel in distress, would you? Why? Do you know of one somewhere? Now, now, handsome. Don't be mean. I've got a job to offer you. There's an old granddad sitting in the alehouse there. Yesterday he made use of my services and he said he'd pay me in the morning. Only now he pretends he doesn't know me. I want you to take the groschen he owes me from his purse and bring them to me. And what do I get out of it? I'll give you a half of what you get of him. It ain't a lot, but it's more than I've seen for quite a while. I'm on it. I'll be back with the coin before you know it. Good luck. I've got your coin for you. Though I have to say, robbing a wretch who doesn't look much better than you doesn't exactly fill me with pride. Thank you a thousand times. Keep half as a reward. Have you got something else for me? For you, always. You brought me coin for food, but I'm cold and I've no one to keep me warm at night. I'm um, sorry, I can't do that for you. Unless you want me to steal a blanket for you. Not a blanket, but a lovely woolen shawl. My own. I was desperate, so I swapped it for a morsel of food, and now I'm sorry I did. Get it back for me, please. Consider it done. Thank you, handsome. I gave the shawl to a village woman who lives not far from here to the west, and to make it worth your while, she's got some fine old books stashed away in a trunk. It's surely worth a tidy sum if you can get your hands on it. May the Lord... Me. Shameless hussy. Please untie me. I'm glad you're here, Henry. I thought I'd be stuck here till Judgment Day. What the fuck are you doing here? I picked up this wench at the inn, see? And we wanted to go somewhere quiet. Only the bitch whacked me on the head with a rock and fucked off with all my coin. Did she now? And which way did she go? I haven't a clue. But I reckon as far away from her father as she can get. She won't be going back in a hurry. I've met some mad wenches in my time. But that one was a piece of work. She could have just asked me for coin. Instead of trying to smash my skull right away. And then, to leave me like this. Oh, now you know what it's like when someone fucks you. Shame she didn't hit you a bit harder, though. Listen, Henry. That thing with Hagen. I didn't want to, really. But they kept threatening me. And then, they offered me coin. Jesus, Henry. I've never seen a pile of coin like that in my life. Kuno? Wouldn't give me as much as half a groschen for a cheap wench. Yeah, yeah, my heart bleeds. Enough. 
Tell me where I can find Hagen. Hagen? Lord Zool? Yeah, I'll tell you, Henry. We're still mates, right? Mates? After you dropped me and the others in the ship? You know we could have all been killed at that ford. Jesus, I know, Henry. I'm sorry, truly. But look here. If I tell you where to find Zool, you'll let me go, right? Let you go? That rock must have really scrambled your brains. Henry, I... I'm really sorry. I swear. Those fellas scared the wits out of me. I can believe that. But why didn't you tell us about it? You didn't have to betray us. I don't know. I... I was confused. Please, let me go. First, tell me where Hagen is, and then we'll see. I won't say anything as long as I'm tied up. I know how that goes. I'll be left here for the crows. Yeah, I know what you mean, Jakey. Kuno's no less of a bastard than that Hagen. They're all birds of a feather. Yeah, right? But why ride with them, then? Because Kuno's on my side. I didn't pick him, and maybe Sir Radzig wouldn't have either if he had a choice. But one thing I know. If you don't tell me where Hagen is, more innocent people will suffer. Oh, uh, I suppose you're right. Hagen's planning to raid some village. Samapesh, I think? He's gonna go there in person, along with what's left of his band. So, are you gonna untie me now? I'll untie you, all right? and take you where you belong. What? What are you saying? Where? To jail. But you can't. We had an agreement. We didn't agree on anything. My conscience is clear. What's happening? Like I said, maybe you might help me out. It wouldn't by any chance have to do with the ring I got for your brother. Ha! How did you guess? Put it down to my amazing powers of deduction. So, are you gonna get it for me? It won't be easy, mind. Jan thinks I might try to steal it. The mistrustful bastard. Alright. Why the hell not? Great. Best thing is just to pinch it. He watches me like a hawk. But you... I want that ring back. <laughs> That's a good one. The ring back. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Good for you, but you're not getting it. Come on. How about fighting for it, eh? Not in the mood for it, sorry. Besides, I'm looking forward to drinking away every Groshen Kuno has, and more! Boozing is about all you're good for. What are you trying to say? You're a drunken good-for-nothing, just like your brother. And clearly not very smart since I have to explain it to you. Don't you insult my brother, you piece of shit. Or what? Or I'll give you what for. Oh, I thought you weren't in the mood for fighting. You just put me in the mood. Over here! Your 
dead. Boy, yeah. I got the ring. Brilliant. Yan will have a fit. <laughs> Here, have this for your trouble. You've earned it. I found Jakey, and I know what Hagen is planning. Spit it out, then. Zul plans to raid Samapesh, and he wants to lead the attack himself. I see. And what about that treacherous little bastard? I took him to the Ratai jailhouse. What will happen to him? That's up to Saradzig. Considering what he did, he'll be lucky to get out of it alive. I'm not so sure. Radzig always had a soft heart. He got me off the gallows after all. Saddle up now. We'll ride to Samapesh right away. All right. Zul's colours. It seems they want to parlay, sir. Parlay, eh? Right then. Let's parlay. God be with you, Sakuno. My respects, Sir Hagen. I don't believe I've had the pleasure since the siege of Lansenbach, wasn't it? An age ago, that was. In those days, we fought under the same banner. We did. And even today, we may yet part friends. After all, my quarrel is not with you, but with Kobila. The thing is... Your quarrel with Lord Cobbler is my affair, since he tasked me with keeping order in his lands. And you, Hagen, you are disturbing that order. No offence, sir, but you are just a mercenary whose main concern is keeping order in his purse. My dispute with Radzig Cobbler concerns a higher ideal. Cobbler shamed my family over a trifling misdemeanor. He hanged my father, Raised our castle to the ground, gave our property away to his family and cronies. And for that, I demand just retribution. But you don't have to stand in my way, Kuno. I'm well aware why you serve Ratzig. You owe him a favor. And from what I've heard, it's not the first time you've had to pay him back. It won't be the last either. The fact of the matter is, you fight Cobbler's battles for him, and you've little or nothing to show for it. If you accept my offer, on the other hand, you can ride away from here a rich man. What do you say, sir? Kuno, you can't do it. You're making a common mistake, Henry. There's a difference between what a man can't do and what he ought not to do. In this case, the difference is the size of Hagen's offer.
Have you no honour at all? To sell yourself to the highest bidder? The only bidder. Radzig never offered me a groschen. Because you owe him a favour. And this is the third time I've had to pay him back. My conscience is clean. Hmm. Tell me, Kuno, what do you think makes a good mercenary? If I knew that, I'd have a marble palace in Florence. I'd sit all day on a golden throne, drinking wine. But I suppose for a start, he should be skilled in warfare. Oh, that's how you see it. But what about those who enlist your service? What they value is loyalty and fulfilling your duty. A mercenary who turns after coin like a vein after the wind isn't worth his salt. An eloquent speech, but like I said, I've paid Radzig back quite enough. So if you don't mind, I'll take that pile of coin and fuck off. And then what? Do you think anyone will ever hire you again after they hear of this? With that much money, I won't have to worry about that for a while. Anyway, everyone will understand how things really stand. Do you really think Sir Radzig and others like him will share your interpretation of mercenary's honour? <laughs> Not a chance. Everyone will see you for the swindler and turncoat you are, and Sir Radzig and I will make damn sure you won't come out of this smelling of roses. Hmm. Are you threatening me? Call it what you like. Fine. It seems you have learned something after all. You'll stay, then? Obviously. It didn't seem so obvious to me. Come on now, Henry. Don't take offence. And let's go and deal with Hagen. It's true, Sir Hagen. This is not the first time I've paid Radzig back. Nor will it be the last. But then, he did save my neck from the noose. So I'll be long beholden to him. I'll make no bargain with you, but I will take your silver. <laughs> you would fight me? You're a damned fool. I've no wish to fight, but neither do you. Otherwise, you wouldn't have tried to buy me off. So it seems that we're evenly matched. Let's see who fortune favors. So be it. Well, that's that. What now? I don't know about you, but I'll have to do some recruiting. Yeah. I'm sorry about your men. Can't be helped, lad. They knew what they were getting into. That's a mercenary's lot. Oh, I know, but... You seemed like good companions. Aye, but a company like that doesn't last forever. I've buried enough men, let me tell you. You should go and report to Sir Radzig that we won the day. Aye. I suppose I should. If there's anything else you want from us, we'll be at the encampment in a few more days. And then, God willing, we'll move on. Well, if I don't happen to see you again, good luck.
God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Sir, we got rid of Zul. <sighs> Finally, some good news. Tell me all about it. We caught up with Hagen in the fields near Merhoyet, and there was a skirmish. It was a tough fight, but in the end, we were victorious. Hagen fell. Good. That's good news, Henry. Any losses on our side? Kuno's men? How did they fare? Some of Kuno's men fell, unfortunately. I'm sorry to hear that. Such is a mercenary's life. May they rest in peace. Anyway, you deserve a reward for your efforts. And thank you, Henry. Once again, I'm beholden to you. I don't know what I'd do without you. Ah, thank you, sir. But I'm sure you'd have managed without me. <sighs> don't be so modest, lad. Since that catastrophe at Skalitz, I don't have many people left that I can rely on. Best go and rest now. Thank you, sir. Take care.